Yo, what is up, Honkai Star Rail fam? It's your boy, as your soul, and this is a follow-up video from the last one. If you remember in the last video, we quickly went over everyone's updated official kits that we got from Hoyoverse during the 2.1 live stream. But this time, we're gonna go over 10 important facts that were in the live stream that you might have missed if you couldn't be bothered to watch it, which is why you're probably here, because it's an hour and a half. Let's get right into it. Fact number one is there's going to be a new feature called Fates Ensemble. Now what this is, is during the 1.0 era of the game, there were some Don Hung side quests that were basically story quests that took place alongside the main narrative of the game. They're going to be inputting more of these into the game going forward. Fact number two is the banners. Of course you guys will know the banners. So for the first phase, we got a Kaeron, Lo Cha with the four stars Galaga, Don Hung and Pela. Now for the light cones, as they are the five stars, it's gonna be Acheron's and Lord Charles light cones. And then you're gonna have Paler's signature light cone, Natasha's signature light cone, and the light cone for the hunt path. Subscribe for more. During the second phase, we've got a Venturian and Jing Liu. If you missed her, just like if you missed Lord Char, you can get them this patch. And they're gonna be with the four stars, Luca, Lynx, and Silval. And the light cones are gonna be a Venturian's light cone, Jing Liu's light cone, obviously. And then we're gonna get the Abundance Light Cone Shared Feeling, which coincidentally is the light cone I use on Lynx, which is like perfect. Um, and we're gonna get the new four star preservation light cone, brand new one called Concert for Two. And Savar's signature light cone is on this banner as well. Back number three is gonna be two new areas in the Dreamscape. This is gonna be Clock Studios Theme Park and Dewlight Pavilion. The mini game, the detective mini game, and the mini game where you play as a clock will be getting updates as well as we're gonna get more Dreamscape past pages as well to fill out along with these two new areas in the 2.1 update and they'll also be introducing fire ascension materials abundance and preservation talent materials fact number four is going to be two new big events one of them specifically is going to reward a new text bubble for the phone and a four star selector item now this is important because this four star selector specifically has every single four star that's been added since the base game's launch in 1.0 including Gallagher himself which will be launching in 2.1 which is pretty cool so for any of those extra four stars that aren't part of the base game that you need, this is your chance to get a copy of them or an extra copy. Fact number five is we're going to be getting World 9 in the simulated universe with two new planar ornaments that, in my opinion, are very obvious who they're intended to be used by initially. But obviously, like every relic and planar ornament in the game, you can use them on any character you want as long as it works with your composition. They also have a big update planned later on that they mentioned for version 2.3, so that won't be for a long time, but it's going to help make grinding ornaments less tedious because we all know the simulated universe started off fun and it's now very tedious to grind these days. Back number six, you can claim and redeploy all assignments with just one button after this update. Fact number seven, our relic inventory space is going to be increased. Fact number eight, March's character development has been confirmed uh, alongside the main story, and she will be getting a game system sometime in the future, we don't know when, linked to her similar, but not quite the exact same as the path switching system our Trailblazer has, but she'll be getting her own special sort of system similar to the path switching system. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. Fact number nine, the Sienjo Lofu storyline will continue in 2024 confirmed at some point. No confirmation on Tingyun's fate, but confirmation on new developments of the continued conflict between the hunt and abundance paths. Fact number 10, everything anniversary. We're gonna be getting a big game board monopoly type event that will grant many rewards and you'll be able to see other players progress as well. And there's gonna be a questionnaire in it at some point that determines which past nameless navigator you're most similar to in terms of the game's main lore. We're also gonna be getting the ornament and relic double reward drop events that drop, but this time instead of double rewards, we're gonna be getting triple rewards for the first time, which is, that's pretty cool. On top of that, we're gonna be getting 20 pulls for the regular login over seven days. If you guys know, every patch, we get a seven day login bonus of 10 pulls, but this time they're upping that to 20. And on top of that, on April 26th, which is the actual anniversary, we're gonna be getting 16,000 Stellar Jades slash gems for you to spend on any banners you want. So altogether, we'll be getting 30 free pulls within this patch, which I think is pretty cool, considering how generous they've been before with the free Doctor ratio that wasn't even an anniversary, like, and we regularly get uh, four star selectors and stuff. I ain't gonna lie, Genshin, what's going on? Like, just in general, the amount of rewards, like the consistency of the rewards we've been getting from the Star Road team is scrumptious. One more thing about the anniversary is the first time purchase bonus for the store will be resetting, just like Genshin Impact's anniversary patches usually do. And that is it for 10 things you might have missed from the 2.1 live stream. I hope I was able to help you with this information. Thank you for coming through and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.